everyone. Welcome back. I'm Tabitha Yant, the owner of Elegant Living, and this is Lexi. Hello, guys. Come on here and tell us what you guys are doing on this beautiful Friday day. Mm -hmm. We are here, and yesterday we did a video, and we showed you what's in our subscription box, and it is absolutely amazing. We've had great feedback from you guys. This is one of my favorite. I think it's because it's whimsical and it's fun. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What's your I love it because it is actual summer decor. I feel like it's not like bunnies. It's not spring. It's not the 4th of July. It's just an everyday summer decor box. And I just love that because you can use it all year long until it turns into fall. Yes, I love that too. Cause, so you don't have to actually take it down yeah. for any different type of, um, you know, like holiday or anything mm -hmm. like that. It's just a good summer box. Yeah. Okay, so let's get started. So one of the things that I love, you guys know, is using trays. That is one of my, one of my honestly, all-time favorite. And one of the reasons why is because if you're using something like this, like this is a platter, honestly, so we'll get into that. But when you're using a tray, you can honestly take it and move it and change it around to different spots, depending on if you're entertaining and you need that area to like, you know, eat or do something else or prep food, you can move it really easily. So that's why I love using trays. You can use them on your down your table. Where else can you use them? I like using them as a backdrop as well. If you get a plate holder, you can do it like this and then you can lay your stuff in front of it. So if you have a dark cabinet, then this is a nice light background for those darker decorations. Love that. And so this is a platter. And I think honestly, I got this years ago at like a TJ Maxx is where I got it. Um, you can pick these big, huge platters up for, I mean, under 20 bucks, honestly. Yeah. And uh, so, but they give you such a great platform, especially in the um, in the spring and the summertime, you like kind of like little lighter areas. And I think this just gives you a great platform for all your pretties. So yes, I love that. So make sure you're out, when you're out shopping, get you some um, platters. Yes, go get you some platters. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna be decorating with here is our lily pad wreath that is in our decor box. Yes. I loved these little leaves. I thought they were so realistic looking. They just look like they came right out of the pond or the lake, and I just really think that this screams summer. Yes, it really does. Okay, so when you get these out of your box, mm -hmm. they're all gonna be flat. This I've already fluffed, but they're gonna be flat. So make sure they're all wired. So make sure you're just playing around with it and you fluff it up, okay? So like ours has been in our kitchen for quite honestly since we got it all. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I, I love to be able to make it look airy, like it's like growing in nature. So when you get yours, make sure you fluff your um, little garland like this. Anytime you get any kind of, honestly, any kind of little floral, mm -hmm. make sure you fluff it. A lot of people told me, I, I've heard this over the years so many times, one of the things requests are people like, oh, I got this and it just doesn't look pretty. And it's like trees, you know, if you do those big pretty trees, mm -hmm. everything comes stored in a box. So when you purchase these things, make sure that you fluff your, your garlands and all your greenery because they don't do that for you. They're expecting you to know that they're on, um, that you have to do that. So yes, that's or your floral that. picks, those as well, those also come yes. really flat and smushed. Smashed. Yep. Okay, so the next thing that we had in our decor box was this lovely little mama frog. She is so cute. She's a ceramic, and she is painted beautifully. And then to match her, we have our little baby frog right here. Isn't that so cute? I just loved this. I thought that they were so cute, so darling. has, like, the little brown paint down here. And what I love about this, guys, is when we were, like, curating these boxes, and that's what we do. This is what the box is all about. The box, the subscription box is all about seasons. And so, and most of the time we'll say Christmas and fall, and then we'll say spring and summer. But most of these, when we're curating these, we're doing it for a variety, for a variety of homes. And I love this one because a lot of you guys have lake homes. A lot of you guys do a lot of decorating indoors and outdoors. So when we curated this box, we thought about, you know, where could you just put this? So if you do a tray like this, you could put this on your covered porch. You could put this on your covered front porch back porch yep. um if you're entertaining one evening you could put this on your table outdoors it's so so cute or you could simply just like what we have our island here you yeah. could leave it on your island yeah yes so and lots of places the thing i love about the box too is that we make it easy for you to do this so we're going to show you two tutorials we have this one and then tomorrow we're going to do it on our outdoor bookshelf in our screened in porch yes. and we have yes. all of the tools that you're going to need so one of the things that we love to decorate with are these little cupcake risers but we use them as stands for our decor to give our decor different levels and different textures and heights so we kind of have like a little 
I don't really know. This is like, a, it's not like a hexagon because there's way too many. It's not six. But anyway, this is the little <laughs> riser. It's like, it has a nice little shape to it. It's just a little bit risen and it's red. So it has a pop of color against all of these. And this is what we're going to be putting our little baby frog on. And this summer, the color is red. Yes. Everybody's wearing red. They're um, decorating with red. Yes. So it's not, red is just not a seasonal thing for fall and winter. It is also going into summer. So I kind of love that. Honestly, it gives you a really good color. Color is really hot. Yes. Hi. Hello, Michelle. How are you doing? Good morning. Come on here and tell us good morning and tell us where you guys are coming from. Yes. yes. Okay. So the next thing that came in our decor box were these set of three mushrooms. I love these. I they love are them. wooden. They are a little bit heavy, actually. They got some weight to them. And then they're hand painted here. We have the red and the white polka dots because polka dots are adorable. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning. And they have it a series of three heights. So we have the different shape here. We kind of have like a flatter shape, the cone shape, and then this cone shape, but this one's the smallest one. So you can really have like a little tier here, get some different heights and some textures. And I love that they came in threes because most things come in twos, but I love that they came in threes because anytime when you're decorating, if you're in my elegant community, which we're gonna be talking about accessories today, so stay tuned. So you'll be seeing some more videos if you're in the community. What I love about that, decorating tips for decorating. When you decorate, you don't want to just have two of something always. Yes. So you want to decorate in threes. So threes are really good. So if you're doing your mantle, you're doing an entryway for your buffet or your buffet in your dining room or things like that, you definitely want to do things in threes. And I love that because it's an odd number and it, it's so cute. Mm -hmm. So you could put them different random places, but look how cute that looks, especially with the greenery. It looks like it's growing in nature. I love yes. that. And then you can just periodically put those cute. I love, love, honestly, I gotta be honest. I was getting dressed today and I tried to um, put a polka dot sweater on over this and it looked adorable, but I'm going to <laughs> save that for a different day. But I love polka dots. I think yes. they're just so fun. I almost have polka dots on, but it's actually these little daisies and I love them. Yes. Okay. So the next sweaters, thing, sweaters, so cute. Yes, I love wearing sweaters. I'm always a cold person, so wearing sweaters is actually really useful. Yes. Yep. Michelle said, join the community. I've gotten such great decorating tips. Well, thank you, thank Michelle. You. Thank you. So the next thing that was in our decor box here is this little plate. And these are actual functional plates. So if you actually like to use your decor, these would be good for that. Yes, we would. We have this like little, um, what is this called? I always say it's a picnic melamine. table. It's like a melamine. Oh, you mean uh, the pattern. Uh, the, uh, it is buffalo check. Buffalo check. Yes. I always want to say it's a picnic table because that's kind of what it reminds me of. Oh, a gingham. You can, yes. A lot of people call it gingham. Yes. Yes. So we yeah. have this here and we like to layer it in. So we're going to put our beautiful little mushroom plate with it. It actually matches the mushrooms that come in your box. I love that. That one there gives some nice texture, some colors. And it just really reminds me of nature at this time because... If you're in the summer and you live out in the country like us, you're going to see all of these things. <laughs> so when you guys are fluffing um, your greenery, re remind yourself that if you can't see all of your things, you can definitely move it down. Like this one was right in front of his face. So honestly, just move it back down and yeah. you can see it. So that's super cute. I absolutely love coordinating plates. You guys, are you a plate lover? Because yes. I don't know about you guys, but I literally was on, this is terrible that I'm even admitting <laughs> I was on Facebook Market this morning. Gracie woke me up early, early this morning. So I was awake, wide awake. <laughs> and I was looking on Facebook Market and there was this lady that was selling um, a real, um, basically estate stuff. And she had all these beautiful dishes. And I was like, oh, I really want those. But I, I held back. I, did. I held back. She I had some self-control this morning. Not very much. I'll be honest. I really like a really pretty plate. And I love a great plate setting. So, you yeah. know, okay. there's that. And our tip for these is that when you have different arrangements, little vignettes here, you can always add in your own decor to kind of give it your own unique and personal touch. So we've had this little pot here for a long time. It's like a little faux flower. It has some nice pinks and reds down the stripes of leaves here. Love and that. it's a huge statement piece because it is pretty tall, honestly. I'd say it's almost two foot tall. Mm -hmm. So we love to put this in the back of our decor, kind of as another backdrop and another layering effect. And, okay, go ahead and show them without this, so, the riser. Yeah, this is why we also gave you guys a riser in this last box because it's super important. We're going to push these forward a little bit. Yeah. So, it's always about adjusting, honestly. Yes. So, this is super pretty like this. 
You can make, sorry, Tracy said, Lex, you can make me a crochet vest. That would be fabulous. Oh my gosh. I would actually she would love, love, it. love that. Yes. This isn't this darling. I'm going to have to text you after this because that is actually really, <laughs> now we're getting really close. Yes. Hilarious. So I have like my, I have my little daisies here. I love it. I want a blue one though. So I have the pink one and I want a blue one. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> she would love that, Tracy. Yes. So we have this here. And if you don't have the riser, it still looks gorgeous. You still have the hideout here. But it also is kind of close to our frogs. So since our frogs are kind of tall, it's kind of touching. And we kind of wanted to give it a little bit more height and more wow factor. And I love these guys. Any type of little risers. You can get these at Hobby Lobby, Jamie's. Mm -hmm. You can get these at Michael's. You can get these at any place that basically home goods, any place yeah. that you get little risers. When you see them, just pick them up. They're great to have in your, um, you know, like I, I call it staples. an attic because that's literally where I put my stuff is the attic. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go through it. It's like my own little, honestly, my attic is like, um, it's like a Hobby Lobby, but like on steroids. Yeah. <laughs> And we have a I problem with that. fall decor. Yeah, yeah. We do. Oh, we do. We have a really that big is... problem with fall decor. Do you guys have a season that you have like way too much stuff for? Because that's fall for us. Yes, every season. We have yes. way too much of that stuff. Yes, Jason's like, uh, Tabitha, it's flowing out. So once it starts to like <laughs> go into the garage area, I know it's time for us to clean it out. And this fall, mm -hmm. we absolutely did that. So we'll, that's another, that's another video. We should take you to, for a tour. Would you guys like a tour? Oh, that would be so much fun, but also kind of embarrassing. It but would we'll be. Do it. But it's, it's actually better. We took like three it days and cleaned it. So it did take literally three days, but you know, it's like, we have our little duct tape labels everywhere. It's fine. <laughs> yes. And the autumn house is coming along amazingly. So every time yes. I go through some of the stuff, I'm like, oh, we need that. Oh, we need that. Mm -hmm. We need this. So anyhow, back to the. Back to what we were talking about. Back to about. what we're doing. <laughs> Our little risers. Yes. Risers. If you see these little risers, they're about that thick. And anything like this, I love these. These are natural elements. I love wood or anything like that. So it. you guys can see it. It's just a block of wood, basically. Yeah. And Or if you have a nifty little person in your life, they can go and just cut you one. Yes. <laughs> yes. I would so say Jason easier. would do that, but he'd be like, hmm, ah, okay, yeah. whatever. If you like, what do you need that for? Okay, so we're going to be putting this little riser right behind our frogs here. You can't really see it from up there. Ooh, don't want that to fall. And, and, and honestly, it's about adjusting everything. Yeah, so, you know, get it all in there. Pretty. Oops. He doesn't want to sit up there. No, he doesn't. We're going to put him here. Yeah, put him in the front. There, there we go. go. Yes. So when you put these kind of things in there and you see yes. that everything seems like it's just really flat, then what you do is you use these risers to give you different levels of different uh, decor, which is so amazing because it makes yes. you, it makes it interesting. So, you know, if you had that down, it probably would hit your little frogs and you don't want that. No. You want it to be up and above, like they're just peeking out through these, this beautiful little floral that they yes. like crawled up under. So that's exactly what you want. And make sure you guys adjust it, fluff them out, make sure you can see all the pretty leaves. Yeah, and most of them are, are usually typically on, you know, they have wires so that you can work with the florals. Yes. Your good ones will have wires in them. So always make sure. Another tip I want to give you guys, when you guys are getting your home decor boxes, I really truly want you guys to take pictures and leave them for us. I'll, I'll do a post today. Yes. I want to see when you guys receive your boxes, what do you do with them? And don't feel like you have to just use the things that are inside of the box with the whole thing curated. Yes. Cause I'm going to show you how we can use different pieces, different places, because that's so important. Like on end tables, entryways, things like that, outdoors, indoors, especially this time of year. I don't know about you guys, but we're inside a lot. So, or outdoors a lot, not inside yeah. outdoors a lot. So I like to take all my decor and put it outside as well. So, and you can add stuff to it that you have that's darling at your house. Yes. So then the last thing that we had in our decor box, this was the bonus. That's why we were super excited about you guys getting them. We have these little clip-on butterflies. So on the back, they have this nifty little clip. And on the front, it's just gorgeous hand-painted little butterflies. Little antennas. You guys can kind of see them. Yeah. They are gorgeous. I love these. And these just give it an extra layer of how it really would look like in nature here. So the thing that we're going to do is we're just going to clip them all around here, kind of being like where the butterflies would land. Yeah. Just kind of anywhere that a butterfly would land. You can even, you can place them, even though I didn't place it very good. You can even yeah. place them wherever you need to. You can put it right there, Lex, um, wherever you need to. Here we go. I love this. I love the butterfly clips because I'll tell you what, one of the things that I see when I go to people's houses mm -hmm. I just hit my dishwasher. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So the one thing that I see when I go to people's houses is their front porches. That's mm -hmm. the very first representation of their home and what they do. I love to go up and see a beautiful wreath and nothing prettier than yes. a ribbon in it 
or something decor. So these would be fabulous in a wreath on your door. And then literally you can stick them all different directions like the butterflies yeah. landed on the wreath. So. Yes, that was just gorgeous. I absolutely I love this. This has been my favorite summer to box just because you've never seen it before. I've never seen these cute little frogs. I've never seen like a little arrangement like this. I feel like for summer, some people kind of get confused on what to put out because it's always like super big bunnies. And then it's like, oh yeah, let's go get some pumpkins. Which I love my bunnies. Which I love bunnies too. But we want <laughs> summer too. I want to like be in throughs, but like yes. the summer and I don't want we fireworks. Something but I unique. Want, yeah. Unique. Like something unique that you hadn't seen before. Yes. And how darling and how whimsical is this little setup? It's so, so cute. I love it. This has been by far my favorite summer box. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Yes. So let us know. Have you already decorated your summer decor box? Um, if you have, I'd love to see a picture. Yes. Because we're going to be giving a, a big giveaway this evening. Okay. So re remind, share, like, and comment on all of our mm -hmm. posts. Somebody's going to get an amazing gift this evening. And yes. so I want to see some of your guys' boxes. And mm -hmm. um, I want to see what you did with your decor in there. So, okay. Yes. Yes. Anything else? No. Tell us what you guys are up to today. Yeah, we're going to be showing you how to decorate with it outdoors tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Don't forget. Yes, and make sure you go in there and get them because they're going so, so fast. Yeah, I think we've already sold like 36 of them. Yes, so, so. you guys <laughs> make sure that you go in there and you get them because we only have a few mm -hmm. left. And I want to make sure that you guys get them. Now, I'm going to tell you one last secret. I was going through my inventory because you go, I was up early. <laughs> and I was going through the inventory too. And literally, guys, the fall boxes are going to be amazing. Amazing. Fabulous. Amazing. I don't know. This year is probably can't... my best yet. Yes. We well, really, I mean, we really tried really hard this year. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we don't try every year because we, well, we, we do. Totally but do. this year, I feel like our creativity is kind of just like through shown. the roof. Yeah. Yeah. Through the it's roof. just crazy. And the Christmas one. That Christmas one. I mean, who doesn't like to decorate for Christmas? Let's be honest. And Everyone. fall. I mean, yes. I think the number one home decor thing that I have the most of is fall. Yeah, we I have definitely why. more That's fall so than weird. anything else. So weird. I don't know. You know yeah, I love it all. I love all the seasons, as you guys know. I always say this is my favorite. This is my favorite. But you know, it is. It is my favorite at the time. <laughs> it really is. Okay, guys, have a wonderful day. Make sure you're share, like, and commenting, and wait for tonight. We have a great, great giveaway. So. Yes. We'll Stay talk tuned. to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.